Hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Get Started channel. In this video, I will be showing you top 10 more fabric mods, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Now, shall we get going? So, the first mod is called Extra Inventory, and from the name, I can guess that you know what it is, or what it does. It basically gives you two more rows of extra inventory where you can do whatever you want. Now, shall we continue? The next mod I have for you is a mod called Doors Coupling. I know there are more than doors in this section, but here's what this mod does. You know, when you open a trap door, you can only open one. Well, in this mod, it allows you to open more than one. As long as it's the same type, it'll open the same trap door. Meaning, if you want to do this, it's fine. But if you're trying to try and make a birch trapdoor with a spruce trapdoor, it won't work because it's not the same type. Now, you can also do these with the fence gates, but it's only vertically, not horizontally. And here's the most important one, the doors. No more hassling of going one, two. All you have to do is one click and it's an open way through. Look at this. This is what luxury is. Anyway, let's move on to the next mod, shall we? Alright, the next mod is called Reroll. In this mod, it basically allows you to reroll enchantments if you don't like it. Now, the way you this mod works is... When you want to enchant something, let's say, oh, I don't want an unbreaking one uh, enchant. So, you go to the book over here, and as you can see here, it says re-roll enchantments for six lapis. So you click that, and it re-rolls the enchantments for you. I mean, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now, shall we move on? Alright, the next mod that I have for you is a mod called Campanion. In this mod, it basically adds a lot of things that is for camping. In this mod, it gives you a wooden spear and all the way up, but you can throw the spear, you can attack with it, you can throw it, which is I find very fun. You also have marshmallows that you can roast on the fire using a stick and the marshmallow. The way you cook it is by putting it on a campfire, and you can turn it into a blackened marshmallow, and then you'll have a black and marshmallow. Now, here we go to the more special item. This is the grappling hook. And let me just say, it is awesome. As you can see, it's nighttime. You can also use the uh, sleeping bag to sleep, but it'll only work at night. It also has a durability as well. We have a flare that lights it up and sends little smoke bubble. Yes, very little. Up and bobby, so people will know you're there. We have these camping bags, camping bags, camping packs that you can equip on your back, and you have a backpack. Now, the way you craft these is by using a tanning, tanning leather tanner, and you tan the leather to make anything that is higher than the camping pack. The day pack, you don't need to use uh, tanned leather, but for everything else, you need leather tanner. You can get a big tent, and a small tent, which you can also dye, by the way. If you don't trust me, here you go. Look, you have a blue one now. You have a blue one now. Look at this powerful creation that we've just made. Well, not exactly. But anyway... Oh, you've spent enough time with this mod. Let's move on to the next mod, shall we? That for you is a mod called Diggers Maximus. Now, this mod adds a new enchant called Veining. Well, you may be wondering what Veining does, but let me just show you. As you can see here, all of the blocks were broken. All eight of the blocks. Veining 1 will only do 8 blocks. As for Veining 2, it'll do 15 blocks. It'll break exactly 15 blocks, because this is exactly 15 blocks. And, for veining 3, it'll mine through exactly 29 blocks, which is just slightly over, over 3x3. Three three. Alright, 
let's move on. Alright, so the next mod is a mod called Croptopia. In this mod, it basically lets you have as many food types as you want. Not all of them in the world, but a very, very big selection. These are just a few of the trees that you can see here. And the way you get the fruits from the tree is by bone mealing them, as you can see here. And once it's fully ripened, you can just collect it. Again, you may be wondering, how do I make a dragon fruit tree? The way you do that is by grabbing the sapling of an oak. Yes, an oak sapling. And then, you add it with the two dragon fruit, or whatever fruit that you are trying to make. And then, you plant it, and bone meal it, or wait until it grows. And, you have coconut, and many more. Uh, there are way more fruits than I can show over here, but I tell you, it is crazy. There's also a persimmon. There are carrots, sorry, currants. Peppers, cauliflowers, and many more. You can also use the time to make these, make the food items in the game, like fried chicken, sandwiches, tuna sandwich, cookies, cakes, pies, burgers, uh, spaghetti, all of those stuff, by using the all-purpose food press, frying pan, cooking pot, and the mortar and pestle. Oh. And if you're wondering, how do I get seeds to plant the vegetables? Well, the way you get these seeds is by grabbing a hoe and breaking tall grass. Yes, tall grass. Each biome has its own type of specific uh, seed. Each biome is not limited to just one seed. It's more limited to just that specific amount of seeds, that specific type, those specific type of seeds. Now, since... This is a very big mod. I will let you guys figure things out on your own. Let's move on to the next mod. In this mod, it gives you more villager professions that you can use to extort. Oh, I mean, trade. Anyway, as you can see here, this is the oceanographer, and these are all of its trades. This is the forester, he trades wood. This is the netherologist, and he trades all the nether stuff. This guy is the enderologist, and he trades nether stuff. And he also trades firework rockets. So that's pretty good. The engineer, not gonna lie, this is my personal favorite. I mean, who wouldn't like an engineer that gives you dispensers? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Never mind. Now we have the florist, which deals with anything bee-related and honey and uh, flower-related, I guess. And then we have the hunter, which deals with slime monster type of items. Now, shall we move on to the next mod? And you shall not be permitted. Go back in. Alright, the next mod I have for you is a mod called Link Storage. It is basically a mod like the Ender Chest, but it's more advanced. Yes, that's exactly what this mod does. Anyway, the way this mod works is that it's basically like a personal Ender Chest, but it can link with other chests. Meaning, if you put the color that is corresponding to the other chest, it will basically have the same things on the other side. Meaning, if you put some ender emeralds or diamonds into this chest, the other chest will also have the same items. But, it doesn't mean you can duplicate things. The minute you remove something from that chest, the previous chest that you take it, took it from will not have its item. Shall we move on to the next mod? The next mod I have for you is a mod called Armor Stand Editor. And by the name, I think you can see what it does. The way you use it is by having an armor stand and a piece of flint. Alright, the next mod I have for you is a mod called Armor Stand Editor. The way you use this is by having a piece of flint near to an armor stand. And once you've done that, you can control the position of it by right clicking or left clicking on the armor stand. And you can not only do that, you can rotate its body by doing this by right clicking on the flint, without the armor stand, by the way, 
and then click in whatever body part you want, let's say the arm, and then all you have to do is use a flint and move it. Click on, right click on the uh, armor stand and move it. And then you can just do this. And as you can see, you can also do like miniature changes to the machine. Small changes and it and it'll do just very slight slight changes. As you can see here, it's doing very, very micro movements. Or you can do big changes and it'll do absolutely huge kicks. And for more fun things, you can even put things on its arm, open an inventory, and you can put them in random, random positions. Now, shall we move on to the next mod? Alright, the final mod of the day is a mod called Pitch Shelter. This mod allows you to open the shelter without even having the... without even placing the ender... Sh the, sorry, the shelter down. And I mean, that's just awesome. Being able to open the shulker without placing it down is the best thing you can ever have. Now, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're enjoying my video so far, how about taking an extra leap and hit the bell icon. Also, if you did enjoy the 10 mods for today, make sure to check them out. I find these 10 mods especially good. Yes, I said especially. Now, that's gonna be it for today's video. Bye!